What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. So great to see you all again and I apologize that this video is coming up a few days late but we're here now so let's just get right into it. All right today we're going to talk about kneaded erasers. Kneaded erasers are a lot different than the typical eraser that you think of. When you use it, it doesn't shed like normal erasers because it's rubber and that's kind of the magic of the whole thing and you can use them to lift up graphite or charcoal or even chalk and pastel from from the paper and they can be used for lightening drawings for highlighting things and to control your line weights when you're doing hand drafting all right let's look at how they actually work and how you clean them since they don't shed this is our kneaded eraser that's what it looks like when you get it so the cool thing about these is that you can stretch them and you can fold them in on themselves and you can really morph them into any shape or form that you want to. And that's your kneaded eraser. So you can pull it apart and you can work with smaller pieces. That's how cool they are and you can mold them. If you want to find points or a tip. And pinch it into a tip you can make it flat if you want more surface area all right so let's just say let's say we've got something like that all right so one way to use the kneaded eraser is to use the dabbing method oh. you can see it's getting all dirty but you can also see that it's lifting up the charcoal off the page so the more you do that, the dirtier it gets. So the way that you clean it is you go back to that pull and fold. And you do that until it's that nice light gray color it was when you first took it out of the package. And there you go. Then you just keep going. So that's the dabbing method. There's also another one where you can, like I was saying, you can pinch it into more of a fine point maybe that's not <laughs> great looking but you can also just kind of draw with it it takes a few tries but you can see it really starting to take the charcoal off the page. There you go. You could use this if you're doing hand renderings with charcoal. Imagine this is your building and you need some highlights and lowlights to give definition to certain areas. I don't know. So again, when you use this eraser, it's not going to shed. So it's not going to shed, but it will continue to keep pulling up that graphite or that charcoal or chalk or pastel up from the page as long as you keep cleaning it. All right, now let's let's think of this more in terms of architecture. Okay, let's say you're working on hand drafting for your studio. So you've got these thick, heavy lines, but maybe you don't want them to be that thick. Maybe you don't want a line that's that dark or that heavy. So what you can do is you can start lightening it up by using the dab method. So you can see how much lighter that's getting. So say you have a condition where so this could be in plan. Let's say this is a wall. And we'll dab that. Okay, so you can see there's a point where this part of the wall is a lot lighter than this part of the wall. 
So let's say in section, we have a condition like this. Maybe your wall goes down like that. So maybe behind this wall you have stairs. Who knows? And maybe you want this line to follow the edge of your stair and that's why you would want to use something like this where you can control the darkness of the lines that you're using. You could also use poche to help with that as well. So the part of your wall that's getting cut through will be the part that's pocheted and all dark. And then at the part where your wall starts to slope down, that's when you'll want a lighter line weight. So again, you can use these when you're trying to control your line weights, when you're hand drafting, or you can even use them when you're doing renderings. All right, I hope you learned something that you didn't already know about kneaded erasers. And if you like this video and found it helpful, or if you want to see more like it, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please take a moment to subscribe. And don't forget that you can find more information about kneaded erasers and other keywords and terms and phrases on the studentarchitect.studio slash keywords. So thanks for watching. I can't wait to see you guys again on Sunday and have a great rest of your week. I'll see you then. Bye.